CNN Arena, and what you see on my shirt is the blood for all those bodies that we're seeing on the street of my country. I've been here on this nation for 21 years, and what we're seeing on the streets of Cuba right now are just devastating. This blood right here represents all the women that are being beaten and kidnapped from their houses to death. This blood right here is representing the kids, the women, and the adults that are dying on the street right now, fighting against a dictatorship that's been on the island for 62 years. This blood right here means freedom. We demanding freedom for our people, for our country. The change is now. We need actions. We need the Biden administration to do to take actions in this situation. There's people dying. It isn't just about Cuba, it's about human rights. The, the situation is uh, is horrible. We, we have never been those a lack of uh, medicine, um, all kind of supply, basic supply. We, we are not talking about luxury supply. We are only talking about the basic supply enough for living. And they don't have nothing on there. And you have the army, because always the main reason of the army was to be training to kill the civil people that are fighting for the for the freedom. Viva Cuba Libre. Viva Cuba Libre. Lo entramos con nuestra fe. Lo entramos en nuestro corazón y plantamos la bandera de Cuba. Todos estamos aquí con la certeza de que Cuba se Y eso no nos situation before and in 62 years and obviously all Cuba no matter where you be outside the country in Europe and the main cities in the United States all of people are claiming for a, a military intervention because that's the solution last year we were uh, striving for black life matter and I think that considering that kind of support that we we supplied last year here in the uh, in, in United States. I think that we deserve that kind of support as well in my country because they are killing a lot of black people, not only one, a lot of black people there. We don't want to be alone in this fight because this could happen to everyone. This is not just a Cuban's fight, this is a whole world fight against the communists. So, my heart is shaking just to talk about that because people, rest of the world don't know how to feel living in communists. At least 20, 25 years of my life in communists. I don't want to die from anyone. So, my people are dying. All people are dying right now. So, human life matter too. Human life should matter too. We should support them. We all should fight against communists, not just the Cubans, the rest of the world, the U.S., the rest of the world. We need all the support the world can give to all, to us. I just can't believe that the Cuban people are finally talking. They're on the streets, they're out there, they're fighting for their rights. There's going to be no more broken families like me. I had to leave my family. I had no choice. I just, I'm so proud and I'm so full of just happiness, sadness to be Cuban because what they're doing, the, what the people are fighting for, it's never been seen and they have so much support. They have everyone behind them and I just pray, I pray till the day that I see a Cuba Libre and I know it's going to happen. I know it's coming. So, I'm just happy. <laughs> our family, in, the, in our case, our family is okay. But we don't know how long it's going to take until they come in for them. Uh, actually, we talk with them uh, by phone because it's no internet. Uh, Cuban dictators they call the internet, so the media cannot know nothing about what happened inside. So they can punish the people, and no one knows what's going on. So we just uh, we actually talk to them almost every day. And they still okay in case our family they still okay 
but we we, uh, we don't know. We really don't know when they they going come for them too. They, this is not just a war fight. This is a whole war fight against communists. <laughs> trying to lie the entire world and that's not the reality. The reality is that everybody's dying. They're using the kids like weapons. They put the kids on the war. They, they got the medical people and they send it to all the countries even if they don't want it. And they say to those people, if they don't do it, they're basically gonna kill the family. Oh, they wow. got people right now on yell just because people was protesting, people was a, free, a country free. You know, people want the freedom and they take those people, they take it to the jail and basically they kill them. And if they don't kill them, they tell, they tell them that if they don't do it, they don't fight all the people, they basically is gonna kill families and stuff like that. They're using little kids. Now they, they're basically in parking like over 16 uh, cars with like little kids to send, it, uh, and to send them and start arguing with other Cubans. Cubans that want the freedom, basically. There's no medicine, they try to say that Cuba is the uh, best country in the world, uh, you know, about doctors and all that, and basically it's not medicine in Cuba. They spend all the money on medicine to send it to other countries, and the people that live on Cuba are dying because they don't have medicine. They, little kids have no meal, no nothing. Like, it's illegal, eat whatever. If you want a beef, it's illegal, eat it on Cuba. If you want a lobster, it's illegal on Cuba because everything Cuba have is for the hotels and for tourists they come they go to Cuba not for the Cuba people basically well it makes me feel so proud about my people in con about my people in my country and that's exactly what I'm here to show them that it's possible to fight for your rights and if they're doing it over there like my husband said without weapons or an arm the least that we can do here is do the same and support them and show them that they're not alone and to keep them fighting for the rights one of our most popular uh, Cuban American singer. Uh, this uh, this song is um, expressing uh, the Cuban need to the Cuban need the, the, the freedom. That that is that one. That right one. Yes. That's all right there. That, uh, his name is Willie Chirino. He has been here for many years, but the reason he left the country was because of that. Because Cuban right now, the military, police. No, no square. Everybody going to a jail for everybody, no reason. So I need every single day, everybody outside, hope for my brothers in Cuba. Okay. Do you have any family over there right now? Yeah, my family in Cuba. Oh, wow. Havana. Yes. I've, are you in touch with them at all? I can't. I know communication, no internet. Oh, no. No phone, no nothing. So I need uh, hope for my people. The President Biden, I need your help. Mm -hmm. Touch you hard. My people need to you. Three years, do you need my vote? So you know help me, I can't help you. Ya no importa la libertad, importa más peinado. Me cojo en cubano como voy acostumbrado. Esperando una regla que cualquier lado se lucha con amor. El miedo no es opción, es cosa de tumbar.
fighting people uh, with, without any weapon because my country we don't have weapon that's why the violence index is very low because we don't have weapon but the government uh, the police, police department the military all of them they are using their tools their weapon against the civil people that is exactly what is happening there that's why we need urgent help to my country uh, Cuban people die in the street right now, fighting for for freedom. So we need the support to all the war. Yes. Patri vida. Viva Cuba libre. Yeah, it means freedom. You know, we 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 ask we ask for freedom. That's mm -hmm. what we ask for. We ask, we we ask the the whole world looking what's happening in Cuba. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Cuba is being kidnapped by the government. Okay, they got the internet. They they. The people here, the family, we can talk with the people in Cuba because no, it's no internet. So Cuba is locked down. They got kidnapped in Cuba. The government kidnapped Cuba. The media in Cuba is lying. Mm -hmm. You know, they they hide everything. They they been kidnapping kids. They 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 giving woods and everything so they can hit the people. You know what I mean? They be kidnapping. The, all the, the kids, 16 year old kids, they, they be taken from the, from the parents and, and, put, and, and, give, and give them words and chills and stuff like that so they can hit their, their own people. Oh wow. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's been bad. We, we, need, we, need, we need the whole world to see this. Because there's a, there's a, a government oppressing people, there's a lack of food, there's a lack of medicines, the hospitals are collapsed. There's no, there's no help for the people. The government don't want, don't want uh, humanitarian help. They just want to figure it out themselves, but they're starving the people to death. And the people is uh, said, said enough, you know, it's time to fight, it's time to go and take the streets, take the, the country back. Communism is really bad, you know. It's the worst, it's a cancer in human, humanity. Uh, there's a lot of uh, countries like Venezuela, um, uh, Nicaragua, they're, they're, you know, they're having the same issue because of the, the, the Cuban communism. You know, it's, it's a regime over 62 years old trying to dictate everything in the, in the Cuban people's life and, and, and not, not, you know, not securing anything about it. Like, no food, like I said, no medicine, no career. You see doctors, like, driving cabs just to get some money. People, like, doing pretty much just stealing. Just to get a live, you know, get to live, and, and it's really bad. So we have we have cousins, we have sisters, we have mothers and fathers, we have friends still over there fighting and living in, in misery, and everybody pretty much is affected. Everybody you see right here right now, it has that feeling. Even we're here and we have everything granted, but we're thinking about the people in Cuba that they have to be released from that government, you know, and we're praising for the, the government, Mr. Biden. Do something the UN or somebody has, has to help. We need a humanitarian intervention in Cuba. We don't want dropping bombs. We don't want that. We just want a presence that way the government sees that we have a voice in the world. That's why we're here today. That's why we're gonna be every day until that thing goes away. The message for the world is, señores, no dejen caer más en la ideología comunista de esta ideología que vive engañando y diciendo que es, vienen como la historia de Robin Hood que le quitan a los ricos para darle a los pobres. No, es mentira. El comunismo y el socialismo en el mundo lo único que ha traído es hambre, dictadura, represión y engañar a las personas. Es solo lo que trae. Hoy el pueblo de Cuba se levantó Y el 95% de la población que en estos momentos está dentro de Cuba está en contra del gobierno, más el 100% que estamos en otros países como Estados Unidos, España, y en los países en Europa, y en los países de América, en Latinoamérica en general. Así que por favor, señores, no permitan que el socialismo el comunismo llegue a sus países de ninguna forma, por más lindo que se los pinten. Hoy por hoy están matando muchos cubanos en mi isla, uh -huh. solamente por salir con el grito de libertad. No queremos comida, no queremos medicina, no que, lo único que queremos es libertad. Libertad y libertad, que haya una democracia en Cuba, que podamos elegir a nuestros presidentes, que podamos elegir a nuestros gobernantes, 
es lo único que deseamos, libertad, y que el gobierno de los Estados Unidos nos apoye, Biden, te pido a ti que nos apoye a poder lograr esto con una intervención militar, con una intervención humanitaria, con lo que sea. Lo que pasa es que el pueblo de Cuba no tiene cómo defenderse y lo que están haciendo es una masacre y nosotros estamos con los brazos cruzados. Principalmente el gobierno de, de Estados Unidos está con los brazos cruzados. Ahora una pregunta, ¿dónde está Bachelet, la presidenta de las Naciones Unidas? Tantas fotos que se ha tirado con tantos dictadores comunistas y ahora que está pasando esto en Cuba no se pronuncia o se pronuncia de una manera leve. No, señora Bachelet, ¿a qué le tienes miedo? ¿Por qué no, no te enfrentas a la realidad? Tú estás puesta ahí en las Naciones Unidas para ayudar al mundo. Este es mi mensaje que le quiero transmitir. Y dejar bien claro que estamos aquí y los que están dentro de Cuba y los que estamos fuera de Cuba estamos pidiendo una intervención militar para lograr la independencia de la libertad democrática. No estamos pidiendo, como mucha gente está hablando, que levanten el embargo. No, el pueblo de Cuba está pidiendo libertad. Y queremos que siga el embargo y queremos que siga la represión contra la dictadura, porque la dictadura está haciendo la represión contra el pueblo de Cuba. Libertad. Gracias. En Cuba, everything that is going on in Cuba is real. People dying. They, People dying. People are dying. We have to do something. Biden, you have to do something for our country. We are over here, the people of the, the Cuban of the United States, we are here fighting. But we need, we need, we need support. We need more people to come with us, and we, we have to do this. Mm -hmm. Cuba has been through this for 62 years. The, It's enough. The people in Cuba is dying. The child they're killing dying. People. They're killing child. That's, that's we have to stop everything. They're killing child. Yeah, that's, we they're, they're doing that, man. The, like the child with 30, 30 years, 13 years, 14 years, dying, bro. Oh wow. Yeah, that's, man. That's, Are they dying because of starvation or like they're being kidnapped? Like the police they, in Cuba, they, they, the they police fight in Cuba, they, everybody. They're taking the people, the child, they're taking it away from their families. Oh wow. That's not, that's not, that's not just. They're lo obligan, they're lo obligan a pelear. Lo están obligando a pelear contra el mismo pueblo, contra el mismo pueblo de Cuba. Porque ya no tienen cómo. It's no fair, bro. What? Uh, why are the kids making the kids? They're making the kids fight. The, the kids. Well, there's a rule in Cuba that like when you get 18 years old. You have to go to the military. Mm -hmm. it's, it's obligado, es obligado ir. Entonces esos niños ellos los están usando para que peleen en contra del pueblo. Y eso no es justo. Eso no es justo. Por eso todos los cubanos de Cuba que estamos aquí, por Cuba, estamos aquí tratando de buscar la libertad de nuestro país. Mm -hmm. Ya es suficiente. Ya se acabó. No queremos Díaz Canel. No queremos nada. No queremos como no queremos, queremos como libertad para Cuba. Yeah. Right. We want freedom. That's all, all right. we want. That's that's why Cuba people is out here protestando. Yeah. Estamos mm -hmm. así porque queremos libertad para nuestro pueblo. Mi hermana en Cuba. Tengo una hermana en Cuba. She has. She has. I have a sister in Cuba. She's trying to fight all I'm this, but she's alone over there. I'm oh my. She's over here. She's the only one over there. I need support. All Cubans. We we have yeah. to come. To, we have to go to the streets. I want to tell you something to the Cuba people. Stay strong. We go, we try to do the more possible for them, you know? Mm -hmm. We try to do the best that we can do over here. We cannot do much because people are in Cuba. We're over here. Pero si nos dan la oportunidad a nosotros, el pueblo que estamos aquí, de salir hacia Cuba, hacia ayudar a nuestro pueblo, nosotros lo vamos a hacer sin pensarlo. Mm. Viva Cuba Libre. Thank you, guys.